Welcome to the demo session on software manual testing and automation testing basics by softwaretestinghelp.com. I am Varun. I will be the presenter for this course spanned across five weeks and will be uh, I will be presenting this course on the weekends on Saturday and Sunday and we will make sure we uh, we address the time and you know concerns based on everybody's location and availability and so you would definitely have a question whether this course suits you or whether it's you know whether you should attend this course or not and this course is intended for any freshers who are fresh out of the college and who already have enough experience and worked in different functional areas like development um, uh, in a database administration or architects or designers, anybody can attend this course and at least they can understand the QA methodology and principles uh, from a different angle. And also any technical folks who just want to, you know, just grab some information um, on how we address business requirements and system requirements. So I have put a curriculum together. Uh, let me show you the curriculum. So this, as I told you, the, the course would be five weeks. And by the end of this course, everybody should be familiarized with the SDLC and STLC processes. Everyone should be able to develop, ready to develop test plans, test cases, and ready to use test data. And they should be, participants should be able to execute tests, either through manual or automation in QTP. And also, we should be able to report and track defects in Quality Center. I will try to cover Bugzilla and Zira also, in uh, when, depending on our time and availability. So let's see what's covered in the uh, in the weeks. Um, so on, in week one, we have I'm going to cover software development life cycle, and the 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 reason I am not jumping directly into QA is to gain enough knowledge on the system and application before we pursue in the direction of gaining knowledge on manual testing principles. So I will be going in detail to explain uh, different contents like what is a system, what is the application, and what are the different phases of SDLC. And as, a, as you can see here, you, you can see different uh, different phases here, requirements, analysis, design, testing phases. So I will go in detail what this phase is and where does testing come into picture. In On day two, uh, we will uh, go into details of software testing and and we, we, I will define more clearly what is, uh, I, what is quality and why do we need to test quality. I mean, why do we need to test software and processes? So that I will explain that in detail. Um, once we ha have enough knowledge and ga gain enough knowledge on the different phases in a software development lifecycle and the basic testing concepts, then we'll go into uh, into week two with enough knowledge on the phases and we'll try to see what all models are available in the market and and what are the common ones and what are the differences between each individual model and why should we use a particular model versus the other model. So at, at the end of each day session, I'm going to give a quiz. I'll ask a few questions, at least um, five to ten questions depending on, you know, the complexity and the topics that I want to cover. So my main reason of putting quiz is to gain, to make sure that you understand the concept and if you don't, you, should, you will be able to assess that you need to learn or, you know, uh, gain knowledge on the particular topic. And feel free to talk, stop me anytime and ask questions and I'll be able to answer. In day two, we will be move, we'll move on to different testing methodologies. And this is the critical area where I want to talk about white box testing, black box testing, and you might have heard about unit testing, system testing. So what does this mean? So we will go in detail, try to uh, understand what those are and analyze from uh, analyze and learn 
and once uh, I cover the the topics which are generic here like the white box black box and gray box testing I will move on to different testing types and why are they really important so these testing types doesn't mean that a tester a function tester should be doing this anybody there might be different teams that will be working on different types of testing so where does a functional manual tester come into picture that that's what I'm going to explain this testing types and the, in on the web if, if you explore this you'll be able to find a lot of definitions I, I would suggest once you understand from the course uh, to Google and get more information but I just don't want you to get lost over you know if you read too many topics on on the web again we'll have quiz on week week two as well in week three we will go in depth into the testing life cycle so as you can see in the first day I've mentioned about software uh, development life cycle and software testing life cycle so software testing life cycle will be covered here so what are the different phases within the testing life cycle so there are different phases within SDLC there are different phases within the testing uh, phase as well so what are those so that's what I'm going to cover once we identify the important phases within the uh, within the software uh, test life cycle I will explain about test planning and how important it is and we will go with we will take a sample test plan so we will go with the importance of like what are the uh, important aspects that we need to input in a test plan like what is objective what is objective what is uh, scope so I will explain in detail and you can ask me any questions wherever you want we will take a sample test plan you will have a live project so for that live project I will provide you uh, uh, business requirements so based on the business requirements you will have to create a test plan so in the course in the session when I teach you I will use a sample test plan and walk you through the content but in after uh, the class you will have to come do the homework of creating a test plan for the live project and based on the requirements so that, that's what I'm uh, you know that will give you an different it will give you an opportunity to learn as well as uh, input and create a test plan on what you have learned and I will I will grade try to grade you know the homeworks but you know at the same time it won't be like as in, in a regular uh, college or something like that but I just want to make sure that I will grade based on the content you have put there and I will wherever corrections are needed I will have a uh, individual session and with the tester to you know uh, walk you through like the mistakes you have done and we'll correct it along the way anyway so week three day two we will cover the test designing execution and defect life cycle so these are all the important po uh, points that we will be covering and these are very critical for a functional tester to learn uh, as we move along in week four and week five so week five week four uh, so far we have learned the different concepts and we understood how we need to write a test plan how we will have to write test cases and at the end of this session I'm going to do a practical uh, walkthrough of how to create high level scenarios what should be the content and uh, and how we are going to create for a particular requirement I'll, I'll walk you through the process and that will be similar to uh, the content in the course as well so in week four I will be covering whatever knowledge we have gained, theoretical knowledge we have gained uh, on the manual testing. We will going to apply directly in quality center. So I'll, quality center is the tool, test management tool, commonly used by lot of companies across uh, US and um, in other parts of the world. So I want to make sure that you have a better knowledge on quality center modules. I'll walk you through each individual module, the content within the module, how to set up test cases, or requirements or defects etc um, week for day two um, the this is another important concept that most of the you know resources ignore this is about the environments and its architecture the reason why I want to discuss this is our testing uh, phase when when the testing phase uh, uh, I mean happens we have we test the requirements and these requirements are new to the company so when we test these requirements we have to understand what kind of environment and um, whether it's a 
Q1 or QA1 or QA4 or performance or you know um, and you know these kind of questions will arise and we have to when we work to real time we have to you know uh, talk in the same language of as a tester so that um, that will you know tell you tell other people, folks that how how much knowledge you have on a particular topic and I want to make sure in in during each session I will be covering the common terminology within um, QA and that I want you to you know imbibe and learn and practice while you speak and and also some of and I'll talk about some technical terminology which we use when we can when we communicate with our testers or other you know stakeholders in the queue um, and anyway so moving on to week five I will be covering on automation one day will be completely on automation and when I this is introduction part this won't cover in detail but at least I'll walk you through some of the content um, how and why we need to automate and then we'll talk about QTP in particular there are other two tools which I've included here these are for the web service testing which are pretty much common these days to validate any web services testing so you might have heard about cloud and other uh, SaaS or PaaS platform as a service or software as a service. So these days, nobody is installing a client and you know testing the software. They are putting the code in the cloud. So we want to make sure we have this knowledge as well along the way. And um, and on day two, this will be the final session. In day two, I will walk you through some sample tests within QTP. I will create a sample test in the course live and I will walk you through some of the examples then we'll execute them and we'll see so uh, since I mentioned this is a basic basic course this will be at a very high level so if anybody wants to get more uh, trained on QTP we will have a separate course and I will you know walk you through more in detail that will be more like a web based um, automation uh, course so this is the entire curriculum for the five weeks so now let's move on to the practical approach on how I'm going to um, create in test cases while you know uh, training the uh, on the course so I'm opening Excel here and actually open office calculator which is same as Excel so in this particular document you should be able to see how uh, uh, a test case are written and how you, you will be able to test it let's take an example we have many number of sites that are available uh, let's pick a, a, a good example like Expedia.com so this X, this particular website is a travel website and most of the users across the world buy either you know the tickets for hotels or flights through this website so we are not going into the detail but what I want to see you is like now let's say there is a redesign of this page instead of you know we we want to modify the from and to dates and we want to modify departing and returning you know dates and you know the location and you know from destination as well as the uh, arrival locations so our uh, web page is being redesigned and we want to write test cases for the new web layout web page layout so what would be my test case and how will we create them so let me open the excel sheet here in a minute um, yeah there you go so the the basic you know uh, the test case has this will be like a high level scenario the reason why I want to put high level scenario is it will be very generic at high level and we want to uh, put some information on what should be the scenario and we will break down whether it's a positive or negative scenario so I'll talk about positive or negative scenarios when we move on I mean in detail later so we have a high level scenario our high level scenario for example we want to redesign the website so I want to make sure uh, let's suppose so the first line would be the headings a high level scenario this will be uh, the environment or let's say data setup 
because data is very important for for our validation we want to see what kind of data we will be using and what are our um, expected results um, and what are our actual results and once we compare both expected versus actual we put a, uh, a check whether it's pass or failure so this will be like the res uh, output you know so let me expand this a little bit um, so this is a simple scenario so I am creating now I am going to insert one column here and this is for the test case high level scenario number so this will be like a high level scenario let's say HS HS number so I will put here high level scenario 1.0 so we are validate we are you know making sure we validate that um, the the destination field is instead of uh, a field with where you have to enter information here for example something like this RDU or you know the different content we we want to make sure we we instead of uh, inputting the value we want to make sure you use a drop down menu so we want to validate that uh, the cities are available the departing cities are available through the drop down menu so this is a requirement let's suppose this is a requirement if our city is available in the drop down menu uh, let me format this content So what is our data setup? You can use any city. So let's suppose you want to use Bangalore uh, or, um, or Mumbai. Let's suppose uh, I think or maybe let's use Chennai. So I know the, the code of uh, the particular city. So we can let's use Chennai. So this is, this is the, uh, uh, the city code we want to use there. And we want to see whether the drop down menu has a value of this particular code there or not. So we'll check the actual results, actual results, and compare whether it's pass or fail. So this is one scenario, and here you can we have different combinations. You you here you're uh, directly checking for a department in a particular uh, code, and you can have another scenario where this will be exactly same, but instead of a code, we are going to use uh, the city name. Let's say Madras. So we want to see if it will, once you type Madras there, it will go directly to the city code as ma or not. So that, that's how we lay out all the scenarios here. And expected results, the the value is visible or, you know, we, you, can, you can write anything you want here because this is a content uh, a tester can write here. And you, you, you can specify in plain English what is available there. So once we have enough scenarios written here based on requirements, we will uh, copy these uh, test cases or scenarios. We'll, we'll see if each scenario can be broken down into one or many test cases or not. So a requirement can, a requirement is something a business will provide us. The requirement can have multiple scenarios. And each scenario again, this is the same scenario. We are checking for drop down menu for departing city, but it has two test cases. So scenario can have multiple test cases so I want this is the example I want to show that we'll be uh, creating test cases in, for the live project as well and uh, we want to make sure that you learn how to create test cases and also put these test cases into quality center you can write type the test case in quality center you can also import the test cases from Excel directly into quality center I will train you how to import as well uh, so this is the brief demo uh, I wanted to talk you about and please uh, feel free to uh, during any part of the course feel free to stop me for any questions or uh, you know that you have or any concerns that you want to really learn or if I'm going too fast let me know and I look forward to you know in meeting you all you uh, folks in the training session and I hope you had a, uh, at least a brief understanding of what would this course cover thank you very much for your time and look forward to you know to see you in the course again